How you doing, everybody? This is the second in my series of vlogs about movies from the year 2022 that I did not have a chance to talk about until now, and we are looking at Roland Emmerich's Moonfall, starring Patrick Wilson, Halle Berry, and John Bradley. Somehow, the moon's orbit has suddenly shifted and appears to be about to crash into the Earth. And now the lives of everyone on the planet are in the hands of a couple of astronauts and some crazed conspiracy theorist who thinks the moon is actually an alien superstructure. And spoiler alert, he's right. Now, when I watch a Roland Emmerich movie, I do not expect Citizen Kane. I know his M.O., I've known it since Independence Day, I don't expect it to be good, I just hope it has the decency to be enjoyable. Sadly, it was not. This was pretty dumb, even by Roland Emmerich standards, and not the entertaining kind of dumb, it was just the dumb kind of dumb. To an extent, it kind of reminds me of Gravity, I would not be surprised if that was at least partly Roland's inspiration for this film, but Gravity was actually a good movie. This is not. And it's dumb right out of the gate. It starts with Patrick Wilson's character on some kind of space mission, and he and his fellow astronauts are attacked by... something. It's not really clear what. And one of Wilson's fellow astronauts dies in the attack, and the government tries to say his negligence was the reason for his death, but they also claim that what happened was not caused by this weird alien creature, it was caused by a solar flare, which... How does that make him responsible? How does he have control over that? This, it makes no sense. This is how the movie begins, and it lets you know you're in for a bumpy ride. I know we are living in the dumbest timeline, and our elected officials and the people who work for them will do the dumbest shit possible. Even considering that, this was still way too dumb. And it gets worse when we are introduced to Bradley's character, who is not just a nutty moon superstructure conspiracy theorist, but also an Elon Musk fanboy. And, God, his character is just insufferable. And it's not really his fault. I like John Bradley, it's just the character he played in this movie was awful. And there are really only two moments in the movie where they have to stop and suck Elon's dick for a bit, but that's two moments too many. Granted, it is kind of fitting because I can believe Elon would be dumb enough to subscribe to the moon superstructure theory. I will say one good thing about the character, though. He has a cat named Fuzz Aldrin which is objectively an excellent name for a cat. The dialogue in this movie is hokey as hell. Halle Berry, who also plays an astronaut, uh, her boss at NASA is the typical bureaucratic asshole who has to question every move the heroes make because that's his lot in life. There's actually a moment where he says, you work for me, and she's like, no, I don't. I work for the American people. Like, oh, come on. Nobody talks like that. Unless you're running for office. And for reasons I do not understand, there is a very brief appearance by Donald Sutherland, who plays this guy who apparently knows everything about this huge conspiracy theory with the moon, but has been sworn to secrecy. And I'm really not sure why he's even in the movie. He shows up just long enough to point Halle Berry in the right direction and then kills himself. And that's it. Like, how do you waste Donald Sutherland like that? There's also this whole subplot about Wilson's ex-wife and their son who has gotten into some criminal trouble and his wife's new husband, and none of it amounts to anything. It's all just padding because, you know, the moon is about to crash into the earth. Who cares if your son stole a car? It doesn't amount to anything. And considering what a global catastrophe the moon crashing into the planet would be, it's remarkable how focused this movie is on what happens in America and nowhere else. There is a moment early on when the U.S. enlists the help of the European Space Agency to launch people into space to try to figure out what the hell is going on up there, but they get obliterated pretty quickly, and then that's about all we see of anyone outside this country. After that, it's up to us to launch people into space on our own to figure out what's going on up there. And considering what a Elon Musk fanboy Roland Emmerich appears to be, I'm honestly surprised that it's not a SpaceX rocket that gets launched into space. Even though the name SpaceX is name dropped a couple of times. No, no, no. Instead, they bring the freaking space shuttle Endeavor out of retirement and manage to get it ready to launch within like 24 hours. Because that would happen. It's not like a space shuttle launch has to be meticulously planned out weeks ahead of time. No, no, no. They just bring it out of storage and poof, off you go. And what really baffles me is we never hear anything about 
other countries that are capable of space travel, like surely Russia and China would be trying to do something right now, because their lives are on the line too, but nope, apparently they just, in this movie's universe, they don't exist. I guess the moon fell on them first. And those three countries having to put aside their differences and work together to try to solve this problem would probably be an interesting story, but then Moonfall would be in danger of being a good movie, and <laughs> oh, we can't have that. Anyway, the part of this movie that happens after they go into space and enter the moon alien superstructure and try to stop whatever's threatening to destroy the Earth, that part was honestly fine. It, I mean, it was kind of silly, but it was fine. It's just a shame that we had to sit through so much bullshit to get to that part. And then after they go through all of that and save the planet, spoiler alert, the moon does not destroy the Earth. Uh, that would be a hell of a twist, though. They have the nerve to actually tease a sequel. Good God. But considering how little money this movie made, I don't think that'll happen. And I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. Overall, this was terrible, even by Roland Emmerich standards. Don't waste your time. Even if you happen to have HBO Max and it won't cost you anything, there are still far better things you can watch on that service. For now. That may not last, given what Zaslav is doing to that service, but we'll see. And that's all I have to say about Moonfall. Till next time, take care.